Greetings and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a quick and easy guide to help prevent your Nintendo Switch from overheating. Recently, Nintendo provided a couple of new messages on their Japanese Nintendo support page on Twitter that can help with this issue and here they are. If you use the Nintendo Switch in a hot place, the temperature of the main unit may become high. Use in a place of 5 to 35 degrees Celsius and when converted to Fahrenheit, that's 41 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, if the air intake and exhaust ports are blocked, the temperature of the main unit may rise, make the air around the intake and exhaust ports better. As you can see here, this is a visual of what Nintendo is speaking of, and right there at the bottom of this picture, you see on the back of your Nintendo Switch, there are two ports for exhaust. There's also one on the very top of the console. Now, I'm pretty sure that nobody is blocking that exhaust port on the top of their consoles, but there may be an issue with the ones on the back of the console because some people have some very large hands. Now, that's not all, Nintendo also added this. If the temperature of the main unit becomes too high, it may sleep automatically to protect the main unit. If you are using TV mode, please install the Nintendo Switch dock in a place where heat does not accumulate. If there is a foreign matter or dust in the air intake or exhaust port of the main unit, remove it with a vacuum cleaner. For your safety, do not disassemble the main unit. So there you all have it, and this is a lot of good information. As Nintendo stated here, do not store your Nintendo Switch in a place where it's above 95 degrees or below 41 degrees. So that means don't leave your Nintendo Switch in the car, especially right now where it's probably one of the hottest summers ever. Also, Nintendo mentioned that when your Nintendo Switch is docked, make sure to have this in a place where the air intakes can flow because we all know that if you have it in an enclosed space, that will create more heat. Now let's be clear, your Nintendo Switch is going to get warm or gain some heat while you're playing it anyway, whether it's in handheld mode or docked mode, but it does have fans in place to cool it down. Here's a look at where I keep my Nintendo Switch docked. It's on a double decker TV stand that has a back to it, but the front is exposed so it's not enclosed in any glass case or anything like this. Now we all know that there may be other cases where your Nintendo Switch just overheats because it does because it's a faulty device or something like this, and this may be the case for some people, but I think that it is very rare. Now, as one last tip, for all of you who play your Nintendo Switch mainly in docked mode, it's important to take out your Nintendo Switch from time to time to just dust off your Nintendo Switch, especially in the inside of the dock as well, because it will attract some type of dust here and there. It's only natural. Remember to take care of your technology and your technology will take care of you. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. The cost is only 99 cents per month, and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to around the clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.